So this is going to be a very poor man's <clears throat> tutorial on how to create a 360 pano that is compatible with Facebook using Microsoft Ice, that's Image Composition Editor, and Fastone Image Viewer to prepare the image. So the first thing you do with your Mavic Pro is you go out and you take the panoramic view of a lifetime using the pano mode on the Mavic itself. Bring that back and you're going to see in your files that you have panorama file folder and you have a bunch of files that it took and has prepared to create this pano. So then you create, you select all. I'm going to right click and say stitch using image composition editor. And it's going to pop Image Composition Editor up. And all the pictures that we selected are going to be sitting there waiting to be viewed. To be stitched together. So now, we have Image Composition Editor open. And we're going to click up here where it says next and it's going to align the images this is where we put in the elevator music it's finding all the points that line up together and once it does that it's going to then stitch them together composite them as it says more elevator music from what I understand you can do this with Adobe uh, Lightroom or print shop not print shop Photoshop but uh, I'm not sure that it hangs on to all the attributes uh, for Facebook anyway. But if you've used that before, then you probably should not be watching this video. So, it's almost done. It's going to put the image up and show us what pretty thing it's done. Which is not going to be that pretty because it's going to be very weird. So, we've got uh, an x-axis and a y-axis. And I'm going to move on the x horizontally. Till I get the dam, which is right here in the middle of this shot, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna use the spherical option. Well, there are a lot of other options that are used for different reasons, but for this particular one for Facebook, we're going to use spherical. Click next. It then does its job. And you see at the top, there's a little bit that's left over, and it has something up here called auto crop auto complete and auto crop. I'm going to click auto complete. It's going to fill in those gaps with stuff that's similar to what's not in those gaps up there. And voila, it gives us this and we're going to click next. Now Facebook is real ornery. It wants a particular size picture for these panos. So what we need to do right now is scale this to 20,000 and this is going to change to 73 something. So we're going to scale this to 20 thousand when I hit tab that one changes to seven three nine nine I'm going to change this to a hundred percent hit tab and right here changes to superb and I'm going to click export to disk pretty sure I clicked it no apparently I did not panoramas uh, we're going to call this damn uh sample for tutorial i did this trying this earlier so i'm going to replace the one that's already there i couldn't get it to record correctly so i stopped and started over so it's exporting and then we're going to close image composition error editor and discard because i don't need to save all those now in my panoramas where i stored that i have that file that's called damn 
sample for tutorial. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to say open with Fast Tone Image Viewer. That's the second program that you need to download. It's free in addition to Microsoft Image Composition Editor. So I'm going to open with Fast Tone Image Viewer. And it's going to open it with Fast Tone Image Viewer. And then I'm going to do a little magic and adjust some colors by increasing saturation. I'm going to increase the brightness and the contrast. I'm going to come back and do some stuff with the lighting in a second. This is the before, this is my after. And since this is just for educational purposes, I will stop there. I can go in and adjust the lighting and do a lot of things, but I'm not right now. You can do that later in this program and get it exactly the way you want it to look. But right now I'm going to show you the, the important piece other than how it looks, and that's the size of it. So first we're going to go over here to Canvas Size. And where we had already set the 20 earlier, and it had put 73.99, we're going to change that to 10,000, half of the 20. And right here, we're going to make sure this button is clicked. And this background shows me the color. I'm doing this because this horizon, when you do this, if you put, click this bottom one, it's going to add fluff to the top and the bottom. And your horizon is going to be too high when you end up with this thing. So trust me when I say click this bottom one. Try to match your background to the color up here, which I've already done. Sort of. And click OK. And it is going to add, it's going to change the dimensions, adding some height to this, and add this color. Now we can go back and colorize that later if we want to. For our purposes, we're not. Now we go in and resize it from 20,000, right here, to 10,000. And you notice that on the right-hand side, that automatically changed to 5,000. We leave it right where its default is, and we click OK. We are almost there, folks. Okay, and now, last step is going to be a save as. I'm going to save this as damn sample for tutorial. Actually, I'm going to save it right over what we've already got. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it, and I'm going to say yes. Save, and then we're going to close this. And now we go to, I'm going to, I'm going to refresh this view by hitting F5. And go down to the one we just saved, which was DAM Sample for Tutorial. And I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to click Properties. Properties. And I'm going to go to Details. And go down here to where it says Camera Maker. And right here I'm going to click in Camera Maker. And I'm going to type R-I-C-O-H. And then I'm going to click below that on Camera Model. And I'm going to type R-I-C-O-H. Theta. T-H-E-T-A. S. Then I'm going to click anywhere else and click apply. Little thing pops up here. Click OK. And now it's ready to upload to Facebook. So we have Facebook open. Um, I have weird friends. And I'm going to go to my page. And I'm going to simply upload this video. Just like this. Find my panoramas. Find the dam. wherever it went sample for tutorial double click it bring it in and you'll notice that down here there's now a little globe or, or, or compass looking thing in the middle of this as this is uploading the image now since I'm doing this I'm going to do it for only me 
because I'm not doing this for the public right now. I haven't done all my doctoring up to the colors and the lighting and everything that I would normally do. <laughs> and now it has finished creating the pan up. And we can go in and click this button here that says edit. And we can make sure that it's pointing where we want it to point in the beginning when the user clicks it. And it is. So I'm going to click save and click post once it's finished. It will post to my page. Eventually. There it is. And now if I click on it. I can pano around, I can zoom and see certain things. So that is how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this. Please click like, please subscribe to our page, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.